Hey, good morning people. Good to be with you again today. I hope you have a fantastic day. We're still in the book of Judges. We're in chapter 9 at the moment. And we had a look yesterday at the story of Abimelech, how he grabbed power. He wanted that position. So he had 70 of his brothers, his other contenders, killed by a bunch of mercenaries. And he grabbed by force the power to be the leader of Israel. God saw this and was not happy with the way that he had behaved, with the fact that he had killed 70 of Gideon's sons. And God has a good memory. God was deeply offended. So in verse 22, it says this, After Abimelech had governed Israel for three years, God sent an evil spirit between Abimelech and the citizens of Shechem, who acted treacherously against Abimelech. God did this in order that the crime against Jerub Baal's 70 sons, that's Gideon and his sons, the shedding of their blood might be avenged on their brother Abimelech and on the citizens of Shechem who had helped him murder his brothers. That's interesting. Here we see another aspect of the nature of God. We tend to think of this God as a wishy-washy kind of a God, a God who just brushes it all under the carpet. God is a great memory and you don't want to mess with God's kids. And when Abimelech went and had all his brothers killed, God took note of this and God said, I will avenge. And I thought of that for a moment when God says, you know, that I will be the avenger of all evil. Because in the story of Abimelech, it was quite gross because Abimelech attacked this nation that came against him and he forced them all into a tower. And it looked like Abimelech was about to win. But people, things aren't always as they appear to be. As Abimelech came towards this tower, a woman from the top of the tower dropped a millstone on his head and it says it crushed his skull. And in the death throes, he looked up and he saw this woman looking down at him and he realized that the woman had done this. So he says to his servant, I don't want to be told, you must never be told that a woman has killed me and I want you to take your sword and run me through, which he then did. A graphic description. But the principle of the lesson I want to tell you about today is the principle that God will always get vengeance. Vengeance is His. Isaiah says it twice in his writings that vengeance belongs to God. Do not think that people who hurt the people of God are going to get away with it. There will come a day of reckoning. But the thing about it is, is that it's not up to you and me to get vengeance. It's not up to you and me to go out there and plan and to scheme and attack, to get vengeance and, and retribution on the people that do us wrong. This is where we as believers have to believe that God sees every act against us. When other people mess us around, mess us up, when other people do evil to us, God sees it. He's saying to you, don't you dare go and get vengeance because vengeance is mine. I wonder, I wonder when the world is going to realize, don't mess with God's kids because God will always have the final say. So you can go out there today and relax in the knowledge that those who have hurt you, there will come a day of reckoning, there will come a day of judgment when God will have that final say. That means that you can live with the future in mind. That means that you don't need to get bitter and twisted and angry and, and get ulcers over the bad things that people do to you, that you can relax and with a sense of absolute assurance, I know, that God will have the final say. He will not let this go unattended. So I want to encourage you with that thought today. Don't mess with God's kids. If you're an unbeliever out there listening to this, then you, you don't want to mess with God's kids because there will come a time where there will indeed be a day of reckoning. Isaiah, one of the beautiful verses in Isaiah, verse 34, verse 8 says, For the Lord has a day of judgment. He's got that day going to come. We don't look gloatingly over it, but we rest in assurance to know God's got this thing covered. Have a great day in the knowledge of that incredible truth. Cheers guys, we'll see you tomorrow. Bye.